Hey guys! Welcome back to Final Fantasy IV. Yay! So for right now, we can we can head to the sealed cave if we want to, which continues the story. Or there's a couple of side quests we can do, which is what I'm going to do now. First one is up in the um, the northwest corner of the of the underworld. Um, if I can land the airship here. There we go. Sylph Cave. This place is pretty damn hard, actually. But, as we... Whoa. Okay, yeah, that's part of why parts of the floors are filled with acid. <laughs> But that we can mitigate. Let's see. By casting float on everybody. There's some pretty tough enemies here also. Ooh, angel arrows. That, I believe, is actually one of the... One of the best weapons for Rosa. Or not, maybe. No! Okay. Oh, it may inflict Confuse. I like the sound of that. As long as they're not hitting you, right? Exactly. This place also has a few different paths we can take. Oh god, this lady. Bog Witch likes to cast a uh, toad on your party. Good. We got her before she could do so. Once once you get rid of her, her uh, her toad lackeys don't really do much of anything. So you're just killing innocent toads? Is that it? Yep. Jerk. <laughs> well, well, they're not so innocent if uh, she's if she's still alive. They're actually the ones she uh, cast Toad through. So, so with three of them, oh yeah, in this case, in this case she's got five of them. So basically, she can cast Toad five times in a turn once she gets it. Jesus. Yes. Hmm. That costs a lot of magic points. Let's do this instead. We changed floors, right? So I think... Yeah, um... Float wears off when you... Every time we change floors, so you have to keep recasting it, and... That's... 
Lame. So much wasted mana. I know. Ah, uh, yes, there's the Marlboro. Yep. Everybody's favorite from this series. It doesn't look nearly as intimidating as they do in uh, Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> True. Or ten. Ten, they're scary. Oh yeah. Well, how how about in uh, how about nine where they can fly? I don't think I ever made it far enough in nine to see that, and I'm kind of glad. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And I don't remember what they look like in 12. Are they in 12? They had to be in 12. Right? Probably. I, I don't think I made it far enough in 12 to see them. <clears throat> oh, I damn near 100% in 12. Oh, nice. I say that. I only got one legendary weapon, and I didn't kill the last two, like, optional super bosses. Ah. Uh, but that's only because they take, like, two hours each. Oh, yeah, I heard about Yizmat. Yeah, I before you kill him. Guy's name. <clears throat> yeah, before you kill him, you have to kill the Hellworm, mm. who isn't even like considered a mark. He's, you just find him randomly. Oh. And uh, yeah, like I could have beaten him, but it was gonna take so long that I was like, yeah, no. Yeah. The nice thing about that fight is if you're quick enough, you can leave his area, go heal, go touch a safe. A save thing, heal, uh -huh. and then come back and fight him. Ah. Yeah, Yizmat is the one everybody talks about. He's the one with, like, 20 million HP. Almost, like, literally. Yeah. Takes hours to fight him. Yeah, and it's yeah. like... You no, know, it's... This is a <laughs> single-player game that should have been an MMO. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, Marlboros don't really look that scary in 12. Hmm. I just pulled them up. They're, like, not yeah, anything. Th that's that's what I've heard about Final Fantasy 12. It's it's like it's like an MMO without the, uh, without the actual multiplayer. Yeah, without the first M. Or yeah. the, the second M. Of course, Final Fantasy XI, one of the one of the actual MMOs, has its own uh, has its own infamous share of super bosses. Yeah. Nah. See, the Final Fantasy X ones look much scarier. Hmm. Let's see. Let's I think I this. did. I just go in a circle. I think I did. You don't have a map, do you? No. Oh, yeah, that is terrifying. When did they f when did Marlboro's first start becoming a thing? Uh they first appeared in Final Fantasy 2. Cruddy put Cecil to sleep. They look terrifying in 2. <laughs> I know, right? Pretty Seven, much, pretty perfect. much every time you see them, you know you're in for a bad time. Yeah, and seven, they look stupid. <laughs> uh, 
Eh, they're not as much of a big, de of a big deal in 7. I don't even remember them in 7, so... <laughs> they, they only appear in, like, one little spot. That's probably why. Well, with the ribbon, you pretty much just negate them anyway. Yeah. Your whole thing is casting status ailments? Oh, sorry, I'm immune to all of them. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. Ooh, nice. I think that was for, uh... For raising my, uh, bestiary to a certain point. I need to look at my map, don't I? Uh, yeah. Again. I didn't know if you had one in this area. <laughs> I should. So I was just kind of going with it. Of course, I keep, I keep running into these guys. Okay, if you guys would stop spamming sleep, that would be great. need a ribbon. Yeah, they all pretty much just cycle through those spells. They have a fair amount of HP, too. So they're kind of annoying. Let's see. Oh. I'm your poison. Or was that the acid? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. This whole thing that said 12 could be getting a remake, so I started reading it. <laughs> eh, it doesn't surprise me. And then I started reading the comments, and it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> amazing in what way? 13's the best thing ever! <laughs> Square can't make any good games now, they just keep re-releasing old crap. They're functionally incapable of making a good game. <laughs> Stuff like that. It's well, funny. I think I think they just need to maybe retire the Final Fantasy series because otherwise, otherwise it's it hasn't been too bad. I mean, um. The, the recent... I'm not sure how, how Bravely Second is coming out. The first game, Bravely Default, is actually really good. Like, that's pretty much the closest callback to the... to, like, the Final Fantasy series they've had in years. And even... 13, actually, I didn't think was that bad 
as long as, you know, they just shouldn't have called it Final Fantasy, I think. That was its, <laughs> that was its biggest problem, I think. We can agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like it? I played it up to the point where the little kid gets mad at the biker looking thug dude. Ah. I think you get Shiva so, somewhere in there. So, but to, so not very far. To me, the whole, the like three or four hours that I played felt like hold up on the joystick and then just go to sleep. <laughs> Like you just walk forward, that's you get into a fight. You get into a fight. It auto fights for you. That's been everybody's criticism of that game, but I think if you get a little, fu ooh, Rosa learned holy. Nice. Awesome. I think if you get a little farther into the game, though, it there there's a little more to it than that. That in the. <clears throat> The areas between cutscenes were just like 20 steps. Like they uh, were super tiny. Yeah, they, 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 they that that I will say they really like their uh, their cutscenes in that game. They were like, "Hey, Metal Gear's nothing but cutscenes. Let's do it with this game." So I wasn't. Oh, hey, he's confused. Maybe he'll. Oh, oh he's never dead. mind. Edge knocked him out of it. Maybe you should have Rosa shoot one guy and then have the others attack yeah. the other guy. Once again, Kane can stay confused since he doesn't learn any magic. Does silence not affect Rydia and Rosa? Or are they it, just really good at dodging it? It hasn't... maybe. I'm not complaining. <laughs> You're that would suck more they... off too. Yeah. Oh well. But you're leaving the floor, right? Yeah. No, no. Rosa. There we go. Oh good, two of them. That's what we need. <laughs> well, at least they die in one onslaught, so there's a plus. Yeah. Again. Um, Overleveling was definitely a plus for this area. While it was it was definitely an anticlimax for Rubicante. <laughs> it's definitely doing us a favor in this area, cause This is the part I often dread. Oh, them random battles, man. I know. Up oh, oh now they're now she's going with it. Wait, did she just turn Edge into a toad and then untoad him? Yeah, yeah, she'll do that sometimes. Basically, they all they all cast Toad at once. So sometimes they'll do it on one person more than the other. Mm. Oh, poor Cecil.
There we go. Ooh, crit. Hmm. That did like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have Edge in the background? Yeah. He's He's got a boomerang, though. So he can attack from the back row still. Not, not suffer too much of a damage penalty. He's still kind of a glass cannon, that's why I, that's why I put him back there. He won't get a lot of really good defensive equipment until later. What are you guys talking about as far as, like, the order? What do you mean? You... Oh, for what I was talking about with, uh, The Legend of Zelda, um, the, the two Oracle games? Yeah. Um, essentially... Okay, the Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages are... can essentially be played as one big game... Like, w when you beat one game, you can enter, you get a password, which you can enter into the other game, which carry, it carries over some of your stats as well as expands on the story. Ah. So, so I was basically, although it can be different depending on whether you start with which game you start with. So, I was just asking if, um, like, if, if Jason's <laughs> gonna do, uh, Oracle of, of Ages, if he wants to do that game first, or if, whoops, or if I should do, uh, Seasons first. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, Ooh. I still think you both should get drunk, race Zelda 2 with nothing but power gloves. Ah. Well, I don't have a power glove, and that's... It's kind of be... It's going to be kind of hard to do on an emulator anyways. <laughs> I think it would be amazing. Probably. Nobody beats Zelda 2 so hard. <laughs> the power of the power glove. <laughs> Uh, really, using the tent got rid of the... Yeah, it did. Yeah. Float's beneficial. It shouldn't have got rid of it. Well, hey, the nerd could beat uh, Zelda 2 with the power glove. I'm I guess... pretty sure he wasn't actually playing that part. <laughs> pretty sure Mike was off screen. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Movie magic, man. Movie... Holy biscuits. Well, there is a, a, a well-known uh, cheat you can use to beat the final boss. Um, by just, just crouching in the corner and just... And just spamming your attack. Yeah. Well, that's what he ended up doing. Yeah, so. exact, exactly. Exactly. Oh. 60 bucks, I can get you a power glove from Canada. Ooh. And it comes with the sensors and all that stuff. Oh boy. <laughs> it's kind of tempting. Kind of, just for, uh, you know, just for collection's sake. If I send it to you, you have to... Dress up like Pharaoh Man wearing the power glove and go, it's <laughs> so bad. <laughs> it's gotta happen. And then send you to a convention so you can deck a Mega Man in the face. <laughs> With said power glove. <laughs> I've got your power. 
bitch, please. <laughs> They're not that expensive. Really? 60, I... 50 bucks on average. Hmm. I mean, there's a couple of, like this one says, brand new, $230. Oh boy. So like some of them are, but I mean, for the most part, they don't look too terribly bad. A lot less than what I was expecting. Ooh, ready to learn tornado. Awesome. Ooh, and yeah. got... That's actually something he didn't have in the original game. Um, a couple of his ninja abilities. That and Tremor, he didn't have in the original game. Gale's just like Tornado for him, right? It might actually deal damage. You see, Tornado in this game isn't... It's more of a, a percentage attack... It, it essentially just lowers the enemy's stats, or uh, hit points, down to critical levels, hmm. rather than actually dealing, like, a flat Whatever. Damn. Yeah. Let's see, let's see if it works on them. Probably not. It usually... whoops. It usually doesn't on enemies you really want it to work on. Up. Oh. Never mind, he, uh, he got her with, uh, bad breath. Oh, of course. You know, you can, this guy, and it's in a bit war, but he's selling a super scope with super scope six. Yoshi's Safari hmm. Battle Clash and Metal Combat for 26 bucks. Interesting. That's like all the Super so Scope games, right? <laughs> Pretty much, I would say. There, there weren't a whole lot of games made for that. I think there was like Battle Clash and uh, Yoshi's Safari are probably the two most people know of. Yeah, and it comes with the receiver thing, too. So that, like, works and stuff. Interesting. Or I could get you a uh, Moogle plushie for $40. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you're gonna sell a Moogle plushie, you have to put a little voice thingy in them, so when you squeeze them, they say Koopo. Ah, yes. Like, right? Like, that's the only way to go. <laughs> I think it's safe to say we've seen every enemy here, right? I think so. <clears throat> Is this the only part of the game Marlboro show up? Yes, actually. Mm. 
They've always got their one area, I suppose. <coughs> it was in 10, it was just the uh, calm lands. Mm. And that bonus dungeon. Yeah, we don't talk about that, though. <laughs> yes. I think I made it like two steps in there and never again. Yeah. That's that's where you have a. Uh, I think actually that you have great Malboros there, and they uh, they almost always ambush you. But good times. You know, Kane might have been affected by blind, and uh, it's kind of I I don't see it because it's the just silence. The, yeah, because he because he's missing pretty frequently. Throw some eye drops at him, see if it does anything. Yeah, or just, do that. That works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Okay, we got a Mage Masher from that chest. Mm. Her whip would oh, no. does poison or something, doesn't it? Her whip? Yeah. Um, paralysis. Her and uh, it's probably better than a little extra damage. Yeah. Female says hi, by the way. Hi! Ooh, that's pretty dangerous. I like how there's a demon tree. Yes. Somebody was watching Poltergeist. <laughs> I thought that was Evil Dead. Oh, in Poltergeist, they actually had, like, faces like that. The little kid gets eaten by the tree or whatever. Ah. Gets omnommed by the tree. Evil Dead, the trees are just kind of, uh, rapey. Yes. Which is no bueno for anybody. <laughs> He has a lot of HP too. There. I think we're just about at the end of this place, at least one of the routes through here.
Well, that's good. The sooner we get rid of the Marlboros, the better. <laughs> Nice going, Rydia. Should have just been doing that from the start. <laughs> yeah, really. Hulk smash. That's super awesome. And here we meet the Sylphs. Aw, aren't they cute? Oh, look at that. Yang. Look who look who survived being blown up. Another another one who survived being blown up. Yeah, being blown up doesn't mean anything. Yeah, really. Kids these days. Always blown themselves up. Unfortunately he is still unconscious, so there's there's not much we can do at the moment. But we at least need to kind of activate this. Ooh. What was that? A uh, katana for Edge. Ooh, he can equip the Mage Masher also. It does boost his attack. Another one does more damage, doesn't it? Basically boosts all of his stats. Then you have to put him in the front row, then, though. Yeah. We'll see how he does. There we go. Or a staff. I think that's something Rosa can equip, but I generally try to just keep... give her the bows. And then this just, I think, just takes us out. Yep. Let's, uh... Oh, let's get attacked again. Okay, that that's fine. Those seem a whole lot less threatening now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, quite. Yeah, there we go. See, now that's a crit. <laughs> I'm gonna head back and uh, heal up. There is, like I said, there is like a second path we can take through that uh, through that cave, which gives us a few. Uh, takes us to some extra items. I'm playing a game! 